either simple or complex, unrealistic or grounded in reality, Gadgets has amazed and wowed movie audiences for a very long time. And most of all, we looked at them and we thought, oh man, I wish I could have that. Hi, I'm LazyDude99, and I'm allow me to welcome you to the very first Movie Top 5. So today we're going to look into the technological wonders of the movie world, the movie gadget. So just to be clear, the things on this list have to be a gadget. First things first, it has to be something that you can, you can hold, that you can carry, something that you can take with you. It doesn't take a truck to move or something like that. So no, the Death Star is not on here. Second of all, it cannot be magic because these are gadgets. They have to have some sort of technological aspect to them. They have to be technology, not magic. So, with that being said, within, without any more delays, let's just dive right into the top five movie gadgets. Number five. we have the jetpack. Now jetpacks have been in movies for a long time. Minority Report, James Bond has used one, and more recently in kick -Arts. I still will not swear. But, for me, the best jetpack has to go to The Rocketeer. It is a really underrated movie about this guy who acquires his jetpack and becomes some sort of a superhero. <laughs> you saw in the sky was not a UFO. Swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped in a thermal pocket and refracted the light from Venus. Well, wait, wait a minute. So you just flash that thing, it erases our memory, and you, you just make up a new one? A standard issue neuralizer. And that weak story is the best you can come up with. Think about it. That is instant inception. Somebody's my 
mind and trying to implant a memory, which you could end up going to this psychological limbo thing. Screw that. All you need to do is flash them with the neuralizer, and then, boom, you can replace it with any memory you want. Oh man, I could just imagine all the things that I could get away with if I had one of those. Young man, I just read over your English paper, and it was probably the worst paper I have ever read. Your reports were shoddy, your entire stats and facts were flawed, everything was bad, your sentence structure was horrible, your spelling was awful, you just... What was I saying? You were saying how you thought my report was the greatest and you're going to give it the highest grade you possibly can. Oh, oh yes, well, um, yeah, well, good work then. No problem, have a nice day. Nerva, the only thing left to say about it is... What was I just talking about? Before, how many times have you flashy thing that poor woman? A couple. So would you not worry about no long-term damage? No. Hey, Kay, have you ever flashy thing me? No. I ain't playing with you, Kay. Have you ever flashy thing me? No. Number three. By far the most memorable part of Back to the Future Part 2 is and always will be the hoverboard. I mean, it's so odd how a chase sequence that is almost a replica of the first movie's chase sequence is made so new and invigorating because they are on boards that float. Something very familiar about all that. And it was so cool that it didn't matter that it was pink. Yeah, the board itself was so doggone cool that it didn't matter that it was pink. And guess what? I HATE PINK! The hoverboard was so popular that people actually wrote into the makers of this movie in order to find out if they could get their hands on one of these things. And can you blame them? I mean, if they were real, I would be saving my money since I was like being five years old and up to saving my money just so I could get my hands on one of these things. All I can say is that the hoverboard is an amazing idea, a unique twist on this ordinary object, and I just cannot wait for someone to invent this in real life. Because when somebody invents the hoverboard, that is when we will know that the future has arrived. Hey, 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 me, I think the best job you could ever have is a Ghostbuster. Seriously, sure it'd be dangerous, but come on, strapping on your proton pack, going around town and catching ghosts? What is cooler than that? Go! Okay, hold him up there, he's gonna move, hold him up! Go! Working brain, stop bringing him down, stop bringing him down, you got him, don't cross the screen! You'll never slime a guy with a Positron glider, huh? When the Ghostbusters movies came out, they called it a special effects movie as well as a comedy. And you can see why, because the special effects were something that nobody had seen before around that time. And they're just so, so cool. Just, you just shoot them around, grab a ghost, slam it in a trap. The only drawback, of course, is that you cannot cross the streams or else you'll blow up the city. Or Don't cross the streams. Why? It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. What do you mean bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. Okay. All right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. You know, I really the part always confused me. Because how do they not cross the streams? I mean these Things are flying all over the place. How did their streams not catch? Do, do they like... Couldn't they just lose sight of the battle for a second? Like, 
Okay, I'm bringing him down, Peter. I'm bringing him down. I'm gonna need your help. Come on, lower him. Lower him. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Peter! You really think that you would have to have a license for that thing? But oh well. If I was the only one that had a proton pack, I guess I wouldn't really have to worry about that. But the proton pack is just an amazing tool that you would love to have on any job. You know, it's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. I blame myself. So do I. Uh, no sense worrying about it now. Why worry? Each of us is wearing an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on his back. Yep. Yeah. Let's get ready. Switch me on. Now before we get to my number one, we have to take a quick stop for this commercial break. You've played perfection, but have you played head-to-head -head perfection? The game where you must complete the puzzle before your partner does. Thrill, exciting, addictive. The sound of that ticking timer will become your life, as long as you have somebody else to play. The piece is missing. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> head to head perfection. Just don't lose the pieces. Or else you're screwed. And the number one movie gadget is... Okay, we all knew it was coming, and before anyone says anything about, hey, it was my idea to put the lightsaber on the list. No, I had this on number one before I even said the nomination video. With that being said, I do have to thank Gamer Girl 220, who had 2,000 uh, for recommending the narrative. It was a great idea, and thank you for that. But anyway, the lightsaber is by far the coolest and best movie gadget ever. I mean, seriously, it's the unstoppable weapon. It's the sword that can cut through anything, can block all attacks, and can only be stopped by another lightsaber. Well, that and a whole bunch of blasters. And a droid and kind of shielded robot, but besides that, nothing can stop it.
watching, guys. And join in for my next movie top five, and I get the top five movie five. So, I want you to nominate your favorite movie out of all the in the comments below. And just to avoid what happened last time, you guys look over the comments and see if your favorite vehicle is already been mentioned. Because last time I asked you your guys' favorite to nominate your favorite movie gadget, and everybody nominated the lightsaber, which I already had at number one. And it didn't really help me that much. But, uh, so just, if, you, if your favorite has already been selected, just give it a thumbs up to show that you like it, and it may suggest a different article. So the top five movie cards. So, thanks for watching. Remember, I'm listening 99. I don't like it. It's not like it. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel. And wait for more coming soon.